Sleep TV Plus. You're watching Sleep TV Plus, bringing you headlines from around you. On the Punch newspaper headline, APC tackles a TICU as US court grants ex vice president's request. Lagos Road collapses after downpour, residents groan. On the Guardian newspaper front page, non passage of bill 15 years after threatening $77 billion telecom industry. Coffee in Kano, jubilation in Abuja, as tribunal sacks Governor Yusuf. On the Daily Telegraph newspaper front page, Sunak spears public net zero pain. General election gun has been fired, but the party is not happy. On the Times newspaper front page, Sunak's green targets gamble. Would you pay £22 for a packet of pasta? On the Guardian newspaper front page, Green bonfire as Prime Minister rolls back on net zero targets. Almost all Europeans breathing toxic air. Inside the Great British Bake Off. On one newspaper front page, Sunak's net zero election gamble. Green pledge U turn sparks story fury. On Financial Times newspaper front page, Sunak sparks business backlash after U turn on net zero pledges. Investors cut bets on rate rise after inflation falls faster than expected. On the Japan Times newspaper front page, Shishida rise momentum for United Nations reform. The Union associates weight name change. Biden faces balancing act. Every price for veganism. Drier seasons threaten Germany's oldest ops. US likely to tighten tech cups as China advances cheap production. Tani as surgery not expected to pitch in 24. On Gulf newspaper front page, no need to remove gadgets at DXP soon. US Fed East Post says Ike likely later this year. Talks gives new push to end war in Yemen. On the Vanguard newspaper front page, coffee in Kano as tribunal sacks Governor Kaba Yusuf. Celebrities, youths, fans, storm, Lagos, or Shun Delta as protests enter day two. Tidubu to announce wage award next week, says TUC. Killing of security operatives. IJP blows out as residents recount a deal in Emo. Pressure on petrol, diesel prices as crude eat night $7.17. On this day, newspaper front page. Naira weakens to 990 Naira per dollar on parallax markets as dollar demand overwhelms supply. On easy calm as tribunal notifies Kano governor's election. Edo government asks for the government to explain source of 5 billion Naira palliatives for states. On Nigerian Tribune newspaper front page, curfew in Kano as tribunal sacks governor. Over 5.2 trillion Naira acute to federation account in six months. States are at AFC. Nominations open for 2023 about Femi Awolowo Leadership Prize. Ondo lawmakers begin impeachment process against Deputy Governor. On Punch Sports Extra. Fresh start to Boniface Dessas at home begin Europa battles. Usiere Banks on a semi for Afcon Glory. Spanish club Cadiz Condo with Mubat's family. 10 ag losing in added dressing room. On Daily Independence newspaper front page, Edo asks for the government to explain source of 5 billion Naira palliatives to state. Nigeria will continue as exchanges for record 985 Naira per dollar. On Daily Trust newspaper front page, Kano Tribunal sacks Governor Yusuf declares Gawuna winner. Petrol subsidy back as federal government pays 169.4 billion naira in August. On the Nation newspaper front page, planned strike. NLC keeps federal government in suspense. Olu Remy, my wife, friend, partner, says Tinubu. On Business Day newspaper front page, dual listed stocks offer escape routes for foreign investors. Goldman Sachs so sees all adding to $100. On Force News newspaper front page, police declare 24 hour coffee in Kano. Court orders Chicago University to release Tinubu's academic records. On Silent Times newspaper front page, Federation accounts accrued over 5 trillion naira in 6 months. 
on Nigerian News Direct and Super Front page, NLC's proposed strike not in workers' interest. Open State commences payment of 1 billion naira gratuity. Kano government declares 24 hour curfew as tribunal sacks Abakaba as governor. Nigeria ranks 7th in Africa in digital quality of life, 88th globally. On Voice of Liberty front speech. Bandits kill four abroad scores in Niger. Nigeria retains 95,000 pilgrims allocation. All investments. Nigeria will no longer accept scrums, says Tinubu. Dangote refinery to sell petrol to Nigerians in US dollars, not Naira, says executive director. On the Daily Times newspaper front page, Edo queries federal government raises doubts on source of money. Impeachment asks Dangos on Undo Deputy Governor. Mobad, go home, Oluwo urges protesting youth, says Lee Singer will get justice. October 1 Federal government opts for low key celebration. For detailed news, political analysis, and many more, kindly subscribe on our YouTube channel and turn on your notification bell. Thanks for watching.